These are a few simple ways you can make your Gmod perform much better. So before you even open Gmods, to improve it, go to your library, right click on Gary's Mod, Properties, then here are the launch options. These are all in the description. If you just have an average PC and not, say, a laptop, I'd highly recommend doing these. If you have, say, a laptop or a low-end PC, I'd select all of them in the description and paste them in here. Now the next steps are in your actual Gmod itself. You go to Options, Video, Advanced, and all of the settings here are the ones you want to use. That's high model detail, high texture detail, so on and so forth. Shadow detail can be on high or low, depending on your computer. Uh, same with reflections. You might want to go to reflect world or reflect all. But as it is right here, this is the settings you want to have. A few bonus tips in here. You want to go to advanced and you want to make sure fast weapon switch is disabled and enable developer console. Then scroll down in the keyboard section until you see toggle developer console. And the key that is by default is the key above your tab key. But you can edit this to anything you want. So let's say I want to have it numpad six. Uh, it'll be keypad right arrow. Um, but I'm going to change it back to the key above tab. If you want to open your console with the key, then go to stop sound. If you hear this sound, it will stop. You've got low space in your computer and you're just are sick of those anime add-ons that force you to download them. Go to options, go to multiplayer, then instead of allow all custom files, go to only allow map files and it'll stop downloading all the nonsense add-ons. If you like the look of Gmod dark mode, I've got a tutorial on that on screen right now. Check it out.